Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hope for members of the elect. This is just uh, a lesson in regards to uh, our people. I'm probably going to entitle it uh, Omen and Zanzibar Sultan, the Umid Dynasty and the City People. Right, because uh, there's a lot of our people that was, uh, you know, under Islamic rule, all right, or uh, Shia or Sunni, you know, under those two rules, you know, and basically uh, they still have our people in oppression. All right. So uh, this is just going to be a short lesson. And what inspired me... Uh, you know, as the apostles and especially, uh, you know, high priests, uh, Arya, Yeshaya, you know, they're, uh, you know, watching their videos, you know, back in 2008, you know, that inspired me, that inspired our camp, you know, um, um, you know, Jeremiah, Yawasa, myself, you know, we were always, uh, you know, buying books at the library, you know, at the uh, Toronto uh, library and, you know, throughout uh, the Elliott bookstore and, um, you know, these other d bookstores, you know, um, you know, um, the Salvation Army bookstores, you know, of a lot of our history because, uh, you know our eyes were was, was open man and that what what made us stable you know uh knowing our history and knowing the knowledge you know of the scriptures you know and um you know rp um high priest aria you know and um so i'm gonna start this uh, this is a very good website, the real history ww.com. Just put history of uh the omen and Zanzibar Sultans. Um because I'm kinda I have a lot of uh memory that I have to delete, so I'm gonna try to uh do this within uh by twenty or thirty minutes. You know, um it says um, the Sumerian traded with with Omen, right? Because uh, basically, like this is that region. Omen, like uh, let me get there. Uh, we have a lot of history that was uh, you know that they don't want out there and uh, there's a big cover up man oh, slack here making this load slack yeah then I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures certain uh, books see this uh, slack yeah oh man yeah If it doesn't because it's Satan. Now this is Omen. Um that's Yemen, right? Because uh let's get this. I'm gonna get from Babylon to Timbuktu. Alright. Um 
part because um, there was a lot of uh, Israelite traders even prior to the whole Mohammedan, uh, you know, his uh, dynasty, you know, his rule. You know, we were inhabiting, you know, these land. We had like trade ports, even though uh, there was a lot of, you know, Kushites, you know, and, um, you know, Arabs, which means mix. So a lot of uh, the Midianites and Ishmaelites that were all mixed. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna get. Uh, From Babylon Timbuktu, then we're gonna build. This is written by uh, Rudolf R. Windsor. He's a great historian, you know. And uh, my uh, my back. I'm also gonna use this other book, Golden Age of the Moor, by Ivan Sertima. They're uh, they're historians, and uh, they were uh, very uh, keen, you know, with this information, you know, because uh, you know everything that we learned, you know, with our in school or uh, college, university, that they didn't teach us these things. So that's why we have to uh, be scholars and uh, actually read these books, re do research, right, to see if these things are true. Because uh, there's a lot of history that's been, uh, you know, hidden. All right, and they say uh, the best way to hide something from a, 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 a Negro is to put it in a book, right? So this is going to be uh, from Babylon and Timbuktu. Uh, okay, yeah, from Babylon and Timbuktu, page 42. By the early part of the 6th century AD, all right, so uh, during the 500s AD, Jewish power in Yemen had a reach its zenith. This power was dominated in Yafrif, Yafrib, later called Medina. So uh, there's a lot of Israelites over that region, you know, Medina. All right, so uh, you know, like you, you could go and you, like you could put in the map. So that's like Arabia. All right, where uh, Mecca is set up. It said this was the time sorry this was the time of the golden age of the black jews in yemen never to be achieved again this business tycoon maintained in uh, international commerce in a multi city a multi city multiple city like multi cities of of commodity with the east and the west and the arab converted to judaism um intermarried with the original jews right so uh you know our people you know we were traders you know you know uh you know on the sea we would always go and trade through uh, yemen you know uh iran you know um you know that India, you know, through those, you know, um, through those regions, you know, and uh, establish commerce. All right. Um, basically, when you read about the, um, Slovakia. Yeah. Second, all 
called basically uh it, like they will call them the people of the book. I'm gonna get that. I have so much tabs open, Slack here. Yeah? The people of the book. The people of the book. So the people of the book, all right, is a Islamic term referring to those religious, or those relig religions which Muslim regarded as uh, having been guide guided by by previous like revelations. Generally in the generally in the form of a scripture. In the Quran, they are identified as the Jews, Christian, and the Sabians, right? So we were interbreeding, and basically that whole uh, that whole uh, Islamic, uh, you know, I, uh, that whole Islamic, uh, that whole philosophy was uh, funded by uh, you know by the Roman Catholic Church. And basically, Jake was in power, and uh, we're gonna continue to read. It says, uh, "Duff Duff Nawas was one of these Arabs who converted to Judaism." All right, so this was a uh, Arab, sorry, Ishmaelite, right? Because remember, our people were mixing, right? He was the king of the Yemen about 500 AD. The Jews sage the socket said so the Jewish uh, sages were invited to teach Judaism to the people of the of the uh, at large. Uh, it says uh, when Duf Nawas heard that the Jews were being persecuted in the Byzantine Empire, right? So our people were in power in power right all right when you look at the byzantine icons and stuff they're jake they're israelites you know he retaliated by killing some byzantine merchants and 2000 christian in arabia this unwise act brought about the fall of the jewish kingdom all right so basically uh you know there was because of that act right um a lot of the byzantines were defeated and uh, basically uh that's what happened so judaism or right, or jew or right, not ism right, judaism was not it's like it said that judaism was not destined to to be like descendant in a uh, manner uh, this is uh the Christian, this is page 43, the Christian in their terrible hour of despair made an early appeal to the emperor of the Byzantine Empire at Constantinople, all right, over there in that Turkey region, all right, we were, uh, you know, that was our port, you know, by Justin, who who uh who hesitated to mobilize a military force because of the previous rome defeat in arabia right so we were uh, basically uh you know our people were interbreeding you know with the arabs and basically uh they were defeated you know the byzantine so basically uh the way how they def how they were defeated you know uh, the era and jake they defeated the byzantines and basically they had uh we're gonna read it basically muhammad you know when he was born or whatever he was just a jesuit and basically uh who you know like to infiltrate and to uh, set up that whole religion all right because uh a lot of the ishmaelites 
you know was living in that region all right through all the as well as uh you know the israel you know throughout that region so basically that was all uh, a ploy so we're gonna read it it says um the ethiopians ruled over other over arabia at this time with an uh, iron hand right so uh, as well as you had kush you know you had the jews which was us and uh, the arabs right uh arabia the the saka like, uh, arabia it said the ethiopian constructed a marvelous temple of sa'an in uh in order to attract the pilgrimage pagan arabs who passed through this converted Slaka, who passed through his, this conquered country on the way to the temple of Mecca. All right, it said, moreover, uh, Araha, that, that division, like Araha, devised outlandish and, um, uh, addition included. Or it's like a, it says in industrious it's like a like in uh action like indecent in order to attract the uh Arabs not to go to Mecca. So basically I'm gonna fast forward. It says when it says when Kadisha, a rich widow widow, brought of a uh, Yeah, I'm gonna read about uh, about the Mohammed. So this is page uh, 45. Alright, then I'm gonna get some scriptures. Look, I have to get some scriptures. So okay, cause this, um, get Genesis 17. Cause this is a lot of uh, history, man. That uh. We have to incorporate it so that's why i have to incorporate it with the scriptures so that's why uh genesis 17 and uh let's start at uh i'm running out of time you know because this was uh abraham you know when uh when the, you know when abraham was on the scene you know basically uh he walked with the heavenly father you know with faith you know and uh you know you know because uh his father um his father was like a pagan worshiper you know worshiping idols you know here the chaldees and basically um we uh you know abraham he he came out of that the year the chaldees region and uh he was you know he had a revelation and he spoke and talked with the heavenly father you know and he promised in a, a land flowing with milk and honey all right and uh that we're gonna be uh, as the stars out of the heaven and this is what the same uh, covenant that the heavenly father has uh, promised to his seed abraham isaac and jacob all right the 12 patriarch and the elect so this is just uh Genesis 17 and uh, 15 and and God said unto Abraham as for Sarah thy wife thou shalt not call her name Sarah but Sarah shall shall name shall her name be right so Sarah which means a uh, noble woman all right Sarai means like princess right Sarah means noble woman right and i will bless her and give thee a son also of her yea i will bless her and she shall be a mother of nation a king of people shall 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 uh shall be her all right I remember uh you know sarah she was i believe uh she was in she was of uh old age man you know abraham he was like 99 
you know, and basically um, we're going to read. You, know, you could read the whole uh, account. Then Abraham fell upon his face and laughed and said in his heart, Shall a child be born unto him that is a hundred years old? All right. Because he, he was an old man, man. All right. And, uh, you know, he, you know, when you're, when you're, when you're that age, you know, you don't have, uh, you know, a strong potency, you know, <laughs> you know, when you're that age, you know, but the Lord, he, uh, he blessed him, you know. You know, and basically where he was able to have a, a a legacy. Shall be shall a king be born unto him that is a hundred years old? And shall Sarah that is ninety years old bear? Alright, so she was you know ninety year old, right? And uh you know, the heavenly father, you know, he he uh he told he told Abraham that he's gonna uh, he's gonna open her womb, right? And that's how uh, Isaac, you know, he, that's how he was born. And Abraham said unto God, Yahweh, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. All right. So uh, Ishmael, you know, Ishmael was he he was born first, all right? But the heavenly Father chose Isaac. Right, and Yahweh said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son, indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, right, which means uh, laughter, he who laughs, right, and I will establish my covenant with him forever, for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him, right, so even though, you know, um, you know, um, that Hagar. You know, she was uh, Abraham's handmaid, and basically, uh, you know, uh, the Lord He told Abraham that uh, He's gonna uh, He's gonna put a seed, you know, into uh, Hagar, right? And basically, uh, that's how Ishmael was born. You know, but the heavenly Father, He was He was. Uh, you know he was very uh like this he like he was very like uh like particular you know that how he wanted sarah you know and basically he wanted that line you know through isaac you know and basically that hold down like that's how where uh you know whereas the stars of heaven if i could get another other precept and uh and the power said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant and with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. All right, and that's why uh, the Heavenly Father, man, he's going to be uh, make us fruitful and multiply, man. Again, all right, because after this destruction, man, uh, we're gonna have to reestablish, you know, back our throne, our, you know, so you know some of our, you know certain brothers don't even have any children, man. All right, because of, the, you know, because of Esau right now, man. You know, and uh, you know you, even if you do have children, you know, it's you know you're base you're being ruled, you know, in, uh, you know with the whole. Uh, you know marriage license you know children you know like we're being ruled by like we're being ruled by our oppressors man you know by these uh you know these different contracts you know with the sin card and all that you know uh, your health card you know, all kind of different cards man all right but i'm going to continue and um and as, as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I will bless him. All right. And Ishmael which means uh, heard of God. All right. You could go. Uh, you could go on the. Let me just put this slot here. Ish 
Bishmil, and God will hear. Alright, or he is, or, you know, Yahweh will hear, right? So we're going to continue. And Yahweh said, and, and as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget and I will make a great nation. All right. And basically, um, you know, during that whole, you know, the whole Mohammedan, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, they were very great and basically we're still under them you know under these uh heathen men under these ishmaelites you know and um they do all kinds of stuff man you know there's a whole all kind of uh like documentaries you know of uh you know like how they do man to our people man you know put uh black black slave trade in africa all right or the islamic slave trade i'm gonna uh, share the description all right but i will but my covenant will i establish with isaac and with sarah shall bear it's like a but my covenant will I establish with isaac which sarah shall bear and unto thee at this time next year all right so uh you know so even though ishmael they came out first the lord he 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 was he chose isaac he, he told abraham you know like specifically you know that you know that isaac is gonna be born and that he's gonna bless him and uh that's it so like that's why everybody hates us man you know these arabs you know you uh midianites or whatever you know, uh, you other nations who practice that whole religion, Islam. You know, you you know, you Edomites, Edomites hate us. You know, because of uh, you know, you know Isaac. He you know, even though uh, Isaac had twin children. All right, the Lord He chose uh, he, he like He chose uh, Jacob. You know, and basically, uh, you know. Esau was the inferior, you know, because basically Esau came back. He's the same guy who uh, slew the Abel. All right. All right. So uh, this is uh, page 45 in uh, from Babylon Timbuktu. When Muhammad was born, uh, many Arabs were still worshiping the sun, stars, spirits and idols right and that's what our people is doing you know um, i was watching uh thing uh they call it the jinn all right that's like a spirit all right because they um you know ishmael you know and midianites and uh as well as you uh iranian or haran all right, which when the Magi's, like they know about this stuff. All right, this is a good. Uh, I I shared this one too. I shared this link. Jin, who are the supernatural being of the Arabian and Islamic tradition. I'm gonna share this link. All right. Um, I'm gonna have to do a part two. All right, just to. Uh, because we have a lot of history, man. All right, it says uh, Muhammad was born at uh, 570 AD, four years after the death of Emperor Justinian. He was descended from the tribe of Quraysh, the family of Hashem, or Hashem. His mentality was uh, his mentality was prejudice. In his youth, he was never taught to read or write, but his imagination was, but his imagination was super, light, but his imagination was super lighted, right? So uh, he wasn't very uh, literate of the whole uh, writing, you know, with, um, 
you know, with the Arabian and the Hebrew and all that. But he was very uh, outspoken. Muhammad was an extra, extra what Muhammad was an extraordinary, like a, a man, Muhammad was an ex or extraordinary handsome man of eloquent and in motivating men with the power of words. All right, so I'm uh, gonna uh, another part, page 45. On his business, it says after Muhammad became a a camel driver, right? And these people, they're still eating camels, man. I was watching like, uh, there's another guy. If I could share this description, I'm not gonna share it. But uh, Mark's, Mark Weiner, and basically uh, he goes all over the world and he like tastes types of food. You know, th those eras, man, like, they still eat camel and all kind of stuff, man. So you really have to be careful, man, you know of uh what you eat out here man <laughs> so after muhammad became a camel driver all right a camel driver is a lot of money right a camel is like you're really able to uh you know to have goods you know a camel like have a have a camel that's a lot of money right but he's a camel driver he traveled to uh remote and intrigued lands he led his caravan to Persia, Syria, Egypt. Uh, he transacted business with merchants of every kind. On his business trips, he met Jews, Christians, and mer members of other sects. Right, so, uh, sect. So, uh, he, he was out here. You know, he was a camel driver, so he was always interacting doing business and learning and you know on his business trips he met jews christians and members of other sects he intrigued them concerning the tents of their religion he frequently he frequent the environment environment of the jews and their rabbis mostly because they were merchants and omnipotent or an omnipresent ethnic group right so we were very present right and we had that culture all right and we were uh you know we're you know heavy you know uh you know heavy in trade merchants you know throughout that whole region through uh you know throughout the world all right because you read about uh i'm gonna have to do a part two lord's will he frequently he frequent the environment of the Jews and their rabbis most mostly because they were merchant and an omnipresent ethnic group because he could not read or write while his ears were attentive and keen to everything that the Jews related to him Muhammad learned and extracted much of the Jewish religion and compounded it with a new religion islam all right so uh that whole religion islam was you know was funded by uh by jews when khadija a rich widow heard of the good reputation of muhammad she employed him in her business right so basically i believe uh you know basically she was probably uh you know a, a woman of um you know of the byzantine of the church all right and basically they they used her they basically to uh use muhammad you know as uh a ploy to basically drive out the people you know from our land and basically uh to set up that whole religion he went on a business deal he transacted it with good results and returned home at advantage time sir so he he made a lot of he me he he made that deal man and he he uh he was locked in muhammad amaze was amazing at the beauty of kadisha all right i'm sure she's a jake all right 
there's I know some Kadishas out there, man. He had he had not seen her because because he had received his position by proxy. It's a Kadisha was immediately like gratified by the way he conducted her affair and the manner in which he presented himself to her. Said so Muhammad was not a tall man, but uh, he had such a broad shoulder that he uh, looked like a giant. Muhammad was a courier, was a uh, Muhammad had curly black woolly hair that gave him exceedingly up uh, uh, appearance. Finally, Muhammad Madija, Muhammad married said Muhammad married Khadija, the rich woman of the city of Mecca, and when she uh, was about forty years old. Yeah, could read about that. You could read about this in um from Bomb and Timbuk too. Uh it's very uh vast. There's just another scripture. It says that uh Ishmael it shall be a wild man. get a scripture now uh, Genesis uh, 16 verse 12 I started at 9 and the angel of the Lord said unto her return to thy mistress and submit thyself unto her all right because uh, basically uh you know, um, uh, um, I'm, I'm like Hagar, you know, she was basically like exalting herself, you know, onto, uh, onto Sarah, right? But basically the angel, he told her to return, right? And go back to Sarah, right? An angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered of for multi for uh for a multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son, and shalt call his name Ishmael. Right. So the angels are messengers. So basically the angel you know you know the the angel all right under the authority of the heavenly father you know told uh hagar you know that she's gonna have a child right because it said because of the lord have heard that affliction and i will and he will be a wild man and he has and uh, his hands shall be against every man and every man hand against him and shall dwell in the presence of his brethren right so uh basically uh with that whole muhammadan uh that whole religion you know with that whole you know the prophet muhammad soka muhammad and he was uh he started that thing basically and basically it was like a snowball man and um, islam it means to submit and uh, basically what they do you know they go to mecca they walk around that uh or that the black st or the the, the, the kaaba stone right and that's what they do they worship uh idols right you know and you're not supposed to be uh you're not supposed to be, uh, you know, like worshiping idols, right? Because basically, uh, that whole Kaaba stone, you know, uh, it's idolatry. The Kaaba stone, and also, uh, it, 
you know, the so-called small heads. So like they, uh, like they have the wailing wall, and they and they have um. They also wear uh, the hat. You know, basically it's like Saturn. All right, it's basically a vagina. It's all, uh, you know. Uh, just uh, vagina worship a whole bunch of different worship man all kinds of stuff man Exodus 20 and uh, 3 thou shalt have no other powers before me thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I will, for I, for I, the Lord, thy power, I am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers unto the, unto the children, unto the third and fourth generation. Right. So that's what our people are still doing, which for the, um, especially in all the Israelites. You know, and basically our, our people are trapped, you know, and uh, the only way out, you know, is with their, our Savior, Yahweh Shai, who's going to, uh, you know, he's going to save his elect, you know, and it's going to be a, a great divine uh, miracle. Um, yeah, so this is a... From Bama and Tim Book 2, you could uh, download it, or if you have um, this book, this is a very good book by uh, Rudolf R. Windsor, a no historian. Um, I'm gonna do a uh, part two, and I'll probably use this again from Bama and Tim Book 2, but I'm gonna uh, do some more points as well. So uh, with that, let us all praise do unto Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Hashem, Rekakwadash, the Lord and the Apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hope of members of the election.